uh, the entire field of neurosurgery is changing towards uh, becoming safer and more effective. And one of the ways to achieve that safety is to reduce trauma to the brain. To making procedure minimally invasive means that we try to uh, uh, make our approaches smaller and make injury to the surrounding brain uh, to minimum. So by doing so, we reduce the um, uh, all kinds of complications and improve the outcome overall. It's uh, definitely minimally invasive. It's uh, transparent, it's uh, tubular in shape, and, and that allows us to reach areas that would be otherwise uh, either not reachable or would be very dangerous to reach. Well, VBAS is actually a representation of the trend because VBAS is a device that uh, makes a procedure less invasive. That's actually exact what, exactly what we're trying to achieve by reducing retraction of the brain, reducing pressure on the surrounding structures, and minimizing actually cutting of the brain in order to reach deep uh, areas. Uh, first of all, it allows us to uh, uh, focus on the problem instead of uh, spending time on reaching it. And by making procedure faster and less traumatic, we reduce incidence of hemorrhages. We reduce pressure on the brain that can uh, result in a loss of function. We also um, find the shortest and most direct way to the problem that we're trying to solve. So the, the fact that the, um, the device is shaped uh, in a tubular form allows us to use it along with uh, image guidance uh, devices. And image guidance uh, gives us direct targeting of the uh, pathology and therefore it uh, shortens the time that uh, we would need otherwise to find the problem. We reduce operating room time by uh, getting to the target in a significantly faster uh, uh, period of time. It also uh, allows us to reach different parts of the tumor without exchanging retractors. Using the same device, we can uh, aim at different, par different parts of the brain and uh, removing the tumor, hematoma, or whatever other pathology we're operating on through the retractor uh, makes it easier and faster. The operating time is the most expensive part of the uh, procedure. The, uh, the time required uh, for anesthesia management and for post-operative stay it all adds up to the hospital bill, so the price of device is definitely paid many times over by the savings it provides. My experience pretty much all of this, I did find that VBAS uh, reduces the uh, operating time, it also reduces injury to the brain, it uh, eliminates the risks associated with standard detractors. By virtue of being round, smooth and transparent, we can uh, uh, avoid pressure on the edge of retractors that standard uh, devices would uh, produce. So this one actually makes us um, safer in many ways at once. I think the uh, deep-seated tumor is probably the most established indication for the device. I personally have used it um, uh, not only for tumor deep in the brain, but also for tumors inside the ventricles for all kinds of hematomas that uh, may be reached using this device. It has been used for intraventricular procedures, removal of the cysts and so forth. And there's now experience about using it in pituitary surgery, which is a completely different field that uh, may uh, find uh, this device more suitable and safer than what we have until now. That seems to be the two most common pathologies for which this um, access device uh, is useful. It probably, I have used it for removal of cysts and uh, uh, creation of opening inside the ventricles. So these are probably the, the another set of indications that I personally have experience with. It represents several unique qualities of the device. So essentially it, it uh, um, combines the uh, uh, protection of the brain, the um, ease of approach to certain areas of the brain, and the uh, smooth and transparent uh, texture of the plastic that is used there um, allows us to uh, get better visualization deep inside the brain. So for example, when it was used for removal of uh, bullets or shrapnel or other foreign objects of the brain, the retractor actually protects the brain from taking it out. Well, I think the, the, uh, in, a, in a constantly evolving field of neurosurgery, the uh, uh, progress in retraction and retraction devices is uh, um, an integral part of evolution. So the, uh, having VBAS available um, 
presents a next step in evolution of retractors. So you're right, they had the blade retractors for decades and, and it, it's hard to understand why there was no much uh, uh, development in that area. The tubular retractors are gradually taking over and from what we have, this is probably the most uh, user-friendly and most safe uh, device that is designed specifically for the brain and that makes it unique. Uh, the, the fact that many surgeons accepted this modality uh, almost immediately as it became available is a, it's a testament to its uh, intuitive design and uh, user-friendly um, concept.